Welcome back to my food review guys. Um, I think I've just gone and done it. I found the best dessert place in the UK. Uh, the sad news is it's not in London. It's all the way up in Birmingham. It's between 371 and 373 Ladypool Road. They have outlets in Derby Westfield I believe, Leicester and they're opening one up in Sheffield. It's called Heavenly Desserts. So I happened to be in Birmingham hanging out with friends and someone said hey look everyone keeps tagging this place on my Facebook. It's called Heavenly Desserts. Let's check it out. So we thought, you know, why not? Those of you who know me know I'm always trying to go on a diet and try to cut the sugars out. But that just never seems to be consistent, unfortunately. And the temptation was too strong again. So we headed down there. We jumped to one of my friend's cars and we drove down there and we parked up outside. I don't know about the public transport or what it's like in terms of being able to catch public transport to Ladypool Road. Um, that, you probably have to Google or find that. If you're a Birmingham local, you already know what it is. If you're a visitor, take a car down there, it's much easier and they've got parking outside and around the corner as well. Now, rather than just taking my word for it, how good these desserts were, I've got a clip and I know you guys want to see it and see exactly how good this dessert was. So, over to the clip. This has been so difficult to find an angle that's really to do this, not even monstrosity, but this wonderfully constructed dessert justice. But I'm going to have to take it around here with the camera. Absolutely delicious. Look at that. Three waffles stood up. Oh, gosh, my fingers there. The cream. The ice cream. The strawberries. So, the customer service. To me, the customer service was perfect. We had a very friendly waitress who was super helpful. She made the perfect recommendation for me, which was the I'm having what she's having. And I'd asked if she'd leave me with a menu in case I wanted to do, order a milkshake or anything along those lines just to try after I'd had my main dessert. And another waitress hadn't seen that I'd already placed my order, so she approached me and said, excuse me sir, I'm so sorry, have you not had the opportunity to order yet? And I thought, no, I have, thank you very much. She went, oh, I'm so sorry, it's because you've got the menu. I thought that was really good customer service. She was proactive, anxious on top of things, and she also explained why she had approached me again. So I thought that was, I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that's how customer service should be. So I was really taken aback by that. So the cost of my dessert was £6.90. I know it might seem a bit on the expensive side, however, in terms of the amount of, uh, of dessert I got and the quality of dessert, it was certainly value for money. So the store, it was a good layout. It seemed like a mature version of creams. It had three areas or three main sections. The main area when you come into the store, which I believe was kind of purpley, kind of similar to creams. In the middle, they had the gold lounge where I was sat and you can see that there's a you know, gold background there. Hopefully you fix it up in the video. And there's an out, kind of outdoor-y area, which was, wasn't quite purple, but it's kind of an off purple, which is quite well organized and designed. It's also fully wheelchair accessible for wheelchair users as well, which I thought was really cool. If you could like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel, really appreciate it. I'm going to put up my Instagram account in the description box, my Twitter on the description box, as well as the Facebook group. The Facebook group is essentially a foodie network where we can kind of share our passion for food, share stories, pictures, our Instagrams, you know, our vlogs, our blogs. Anything that's about anything that's food related, recommendations of places we should I should check out, or other people should check out, places that you think is really cool, that are really cool. So the score, I give it a solid ten for the food because of the ingredients and how well it all complemented one another, and how good it tasted. A ten for customer service, I thought that was absolutely on point, and I have to say I give them a solid eight out of ten when it came to cleanliness, only because of the seats that we were sat in were slightly worn. Not the booth seats, but the actual chair seat. So, would I recommend it? Absolutely. I was, it was so good, I went back the next day. I made a short video of myself on a friend's phone because I've been having issues with my phone of me eating the cake that I had the next day. And I'm going to upload that on Friday. It's Friday fun. Just so you guys can see my initial reactions, what I thought and what I was eating on the day I went back. It was literally the next day. I think that was my breakfast, to be fair. It's bad. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it, I thoroughly recommend it. If you're into your desserts and you like your ice cream and you're not so much of a creams fan but you like good ice cream, guys, check it out. It is really cool and worth a visit. Guys, thank you for watching and thank you so much for the support. I still can't believe I've had 200 views of my first video in 48 hours. For me, that's massive. I thought I'd be lucky to get 20. <laughs> but yeah, till Friday, guys. Take care. Have a good one.